Om Shanti and welcome to 16th May of our Godly Blessing where Supreme God Father is telling us again and again that this time is a very special time. The time actually between Kali Yuga or the Iron Age and the Satya or the Golden Age is the prime diamond age. And just like in the English calendar, after every four years we have one extra day in the month of February. In the same way over here, after every four ages Golden Age, Silver Age, Copper Age and Iron Age an extra time comes and that period is not equal to one day because we are talking about ages. So here the time which we get is 100 years only and in these 100 years 86 years have already gone by, gone past. It is time of only 14 years that we get to get to know ourselves, get to know the Supreme Creator, connect with Him purify our past deeds of many births not just this birth many births because we have been into lust anger greed ego attachment for couple of births not the whole cycle but couple of births because in the golden and the silver ages we are not doing any sins but from copper and iron ages half of the time just like there is day and night so when we finish day we get into night that means we get into a time or a period where we forget wisdom, where we forget what is exactly to be soul conscious and we become more body conscious. So God says that's the time where you forget about me, you forget about yourself and you forget about the laws of the world and you start sinning. So this confluence age is the special time of this hundred years where we get to know that law we get to know the lawmaker and we get to know what laws do we need to follow so that our sins are absolved and we can go into liberation or liberation in life that means heaven on earth so let's see what does godfather have to say over here about confluence age god says may you be an intense effort maker not just an effort maker intense effort maker and create an elevated reward by knowing the importance of the confluence age excuse me so the importance of confluence age as we said that it is just like that one extra day so we can work hard on that day and we can get whatsoever we want to do or achieve whatsoever we want to do in that one day or we can waste it similarly over here 100 years we did but out of 100 years 86 years are gone and 14 years are remaining but out of those 14 years, how many years am I going to be alive in this body? How many years will you be alive in your body? Is there any guarantee? No. So every second counts. So God says, the confluence age is a short age and it is only in this age that you can experience the Father's company. This is the only time when Supreme God Father descends on earth and he gives us the divine company, the divine knowledge which we are receiving through the Brahma Kumaris godly spiritual university <coughs> if you think about it no no university in this world has the power or the right to call itself godly spiritual university the time of the conference age and this life are both as valuable as diamonds our own life and this conference age as you know the importance of this you must not allow yourself to leave his company for even a second. When we know that, know that an important time or an important period has come, a period of transition, then every second is important for us. And that transition has to happen. When you are changing your house, you know that every second counts, everything counts. When you're shifting houses, you know that every minute counts for you to shift because you have to get ready for the next day. Similarly, over here, we have to get ready for the next yuga or the next age that is the satyug and every second counts over here. So as you know the importance of this, you must not allow yourself to leave his company for even a second because God is the purifier. He is purifying us and through his purification only we can transition from iron age to golden age but via the supreme abode. That means we souls have to leave our body, go up, Kalyug has finished, iron age has got destroyed then we come down on earth and again take birth. God says, as you know the importance of this, you must not allow yourself to leave his company for even a second. If a second has gone, it was not just a second that we have lost, but a lot that has gone. 
this is the age in which to accumulate an elevated reward for the whole cycle. If you remember the importance of this age, that is a confluence age, you will make intense effort and claim royal rights. This is the time to claim those rights from the Supreme Being. It's now or never. Many people say that how can you say that God has descended on earth? We cannot see him. Well, it is not something to be seen. God is incognito. He doesn't have a physical body. He doesn't take birth. So how can you see him? You can only feel him when we ourselves become soul conscious because God is always in a state of soul consciousness. So the more we become soul conscious, the more we can experience God and his power and his truth. With this, Om Shanti.